October 15, 2025. While everyone was watching the Frontier models race to the top, something happened that nobody predicted. The bottom just became the new middle. And what I'm about to show you reveals a pattern that changes everything about how AI will evolve in coding from this point forward. This isn't about one model release. This is about a collapse that's already begun. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. Let me show you something that should terrify every company still sitting on the sidelines. Five months ago, just five months, Claude Sinet 4 was frontier level AI, state of the art coding, premium pricing, the kind of capability you paid top dollar to access. Today, that exact same performance costs one third the price and runs twice as fast. It's called Claude Haiku 4.5, and it just collapsed the entire middle tier of the AI market. Here's the pattern nobody's talking about. The timeline from frontier to commodity just went from years to months. Think about what this means. Every planning cycle, every budget forecast, every competitive analysis that assumes AI capabilities stay expensive for 12 to 18 months, all of it just became obsolete. The decay rate of AI competitive advantage isn't linear anymore, it's exponential. And here's what keeps me up at night. If this is happening at the model level, what happens when this pattern hits your industry? There are three signals in this release that most people will miss, but you need to see them. Signal one, performance inversion. Claude Haiku 4.5 doesn't just match its expensive predecessor, it actually beats Claude Sonnet 4 at certain tasks, especially computer use. Read that again. The cheaper, faster model outperforms the premium one in specific domains. This breaks every assumption we have about AI pricing. We've been conditioned to believe better costs more, faster costs more, cheaper means compromised. That trade-off just died. When the budget option starts outperforming the premium option, you're not seeing incremental improvement. You're seeing a phase transition. Signal two, the orchestration unlock. Here's where it gets wild. You can now use Claude Sonnet 4.5 as the strategic architect to break down complex problems, then deploy a team, a literal swarm of Haiku 4.5 agents to execute subtasks in parallel. This isn't theoretical. At first movers, we're all already building these systems. One sonnet orchestrating multiple haikus, each handling specialized tasks simultaneously. The economics finally make sense. What costs thousands in API calls now costs hundreds. What took hours now takes minutes. But here's what nobody's saying. This is how artificial super intelligence begins. Not with one massive model, with coordinated swarms of increasingly capable agents working together, improving together, learning from each other. The substrate for AGI isn't a single breakthrough. It's economic viability of mass orchestration. Signal three, safety paradox. Claude Haiku 4.5 is classified as ASL2, less restrictive than the ASL3 classification for the premium models. But in automated alignment tests, it showed lower rates of misaligned behavior than both Sonnet 4.5 and Opus 4.1. Anthropic's own data says their cheapest, fastest model is their safest model. This inverts everything. Usually safety comes with trade-offs, slower, more expensive, more restrictive. Not anymore. The safety constraints that made premium models harder to deploy, they're loosening on the budget tier while maintaining higher alignment. What does this enable? Faster deployment, less friction, wider accessibility, all with better safety metrics. That's not a trade-off, that's a paradigm shift. Let me tell you what's really happening here. Because the surface story, new model is cheaper and faster, misses the deeper pattern. We're watching the democratization of capability accelerate beyond anyone's projections. Every AI lab is racing toward the same destination. OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, Meta, they're all sprinting toward AGI. And in that race, something unexpected is happening. The capabilities they develop at the frontier cascade down to accessible tiers faster than anyone predicted. 
five months from frontier to budget. Next year, maybe three months. The year after, weeks. This creates a compression effect. The window where having access to the best AI gives you competitive advantage. That window is shrinking, not closing, but shrinking fast. The team at Every said it best. With the release of Sonnet 4.5 and now Haiku, Anthropic is perfecting packing its frontier intelligence into smaller and smaller form factors. Developers are reaping the benefits. So the companies that win won't be the ones with the best AI. Everyone will have access to incredible AI. The winners will be the ones who integrated first, who built their operations around AI native workflows, who moved while everyone else was still planning. This is why I keep saying the future belongs to first movers, not because they're smarter, because they acted when it was still uncomfortable, when the ROI wasn't proven, when their competitors called them crazy. Let me make this concrete. Here's what Claude Haiku 4.5 enables that wasn't economically viable last week. For developers building agents, this is your unlock moment. Claude models have always been the premium choice for tool calling and long running agents that don't go off the rails. But Sonnet 4.5 was priced like Beluga Caviar. The team at every switch their email assistant Cora from Sonnet to GPT-5 Mini because, as their COO put it, every would go out of business if they didn't. Now they've switched back to Haiku. Same premium Claude performance, economics that actually work. And get this, in head-to-head -head testing on complex agentic queries, Haiku 4.5 was ein 44% faster on than GPT-5 Mini. We're talking queries like, how much did I spend on Ubers in Guadalajara? Haiku returned answers in 19.7 seconds versus 28.3 seconds for GPT-5 Mini priority. Yes, Haiku costs about 4x more than GPT-5 Mini or Gemini Flash. But if your use case requires tool calling, autonomy, and not going off the rails, that cost difference is worth it. You're not paying for marginal improvement, you're paying for reliability at scale. Real-time customer service. That doesn't compromise on intelligence. You used to choose between quality and cost. That choice just evaporated. Multi-agent coding workflows, where one sonnet orchestrates multiple haikus working in parallel on different parts of your code base. The Explore subagent in Claude Code, now powered by Haiku 4.5. It can rapidly gather context on your entire code base to build apps faster. Production scale automation. That was too expensive to deploy last month. If you've been running pilots with expensive models, the economics to scale just unlocked. But let me be honest about where Haiku struggles, because you need to know this. Mathematics. In testing, Haiku found all the right Uber receipts from Guadalajara perfectly, but when asked to add them up, it failed at basic math, and when corrected, it apologized and made the same mistake again. This is important. If your workflow requires mathematical reasoning, stick with GPT-5 Mini or equip Haiku with a calculator tool. This isn't a deal breaker, it's a design consideration. Sycophancy. Haiku tends to agree with you even when you're wrong. For applications where you need the AI to push back or challenge assumptions, be aware of this tendency. These aren't secret flaws. They're documented characteristics you need to design around. Every model has trade-offs. The question is whether Haiku's strengths, speed, tool calling, reliability, outweigh its weaknesses for your specific use case. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs. If this video helped you understand what's really happening, subscribe and share it with everyone you know. The only way we stop this is together. 
May God give us wisdom, courage, and the determination to preserve freedom for the next generation. 